Um, hello everyone. So today I will be speaking about um, one and our work uh, on the AGL project. So my, my name is Roger. I'm, I'm from Igalia. We are an open source company. Uh, consultancy company. We have around 140 engineers uh, around the globe. Uh, my team specializes in web rendering and in multiple web engines like Chromium WebKit, WP and Firefox. And we also have teams working on, on compilers and graphics, multimedia, um, the Linux kernel. We have a wide range of contributions to open source projects. We are the second main contributor to, to Chromium uh, after Google and to WebKit after Apple. And I added a few links for reference uh, for the previous presentations about this topic. Um, we have an ongoing uh, effort of changing how one works on, on AGL and these previous talks uh, explain a bit how one works. Uh, I will be getting a, uh, into that a, in, a, in a bit and why we did this effort. So. I was going to make a live demo, but I have connectivity issues on my on my Kiru setup, so I'm going to fire up a recording of of our first uh, working uh, proof of concept of CF working on on one. So, um, for those of you who, who never heard about One and the work we do on, on AGL, uh, One stands for Web, Web Application Manager. It's a runtime created by LG for um, enabling uh, developers to create uh, web applications and run them on, on embedded devices. And everything that you see here is a web application, the left side panel and the, and the middle panel. And this is already running on, on, on CEF. And if you're curious about uh, how the applications work, you, you can go to the automotive uh, grid Linux Garrett and, and search for HTML5 on, on projects and you, you'll get a list of all the applications that we have on this demo. And um, I included um, information about how to build the uh, demo image for, for web applications because uh, I think most of the, the crowd for this for this conference never never saw the previous presentations so this is only a reference and okay I'll, I'll speak a bit about uh, what one is and how it works so like I said it was um, a runtime uh, created by LG for, for shipping uh, web applications to several devices. And we adapted this runtime to work on, on the AGL project. Um, it's not framework specific. You can uh, basically do um, work with any uh, web application framework. Uh, if it works on client side, you will be able to deploy it to the in embedded devices and it will work just fine. Uh, it was built on top of, of the Chromium uh, WebOS that was also maintained by, by LG. 
uh, the main responsibility of the runtime is managing uh, application lifecycle and it has uh, a lot of optimization on, on top of the regular Chrome implementation like uh, monitoring uh, status of the application and memory consumption and CPU consumption. And as you can see, uh, one uh, leverages from the content la layer from, from Chromium and it provides an API for, for creating uh, browser processes and web pages and uh, a way of applica web applications to communicate to each other. Uh, the AGL implementation is a bit different from this, but uh, this is the original pro one from WebOS. Uh, in our case, we don't use uh, Luna, we use gRPC for, for IPC, but the rest was uh, pretty much, much the same. And uh, I was only explaining how one worked uh, to talk about the, the work that we've been doing in this last year. Uh, that was replacing part of the part of one to not use um, Chromium WebOS anymore, and instead using CEF. Uh, and uh, I'll explain why we did it and how it's it's working right now. And here we have a few uh, reference links if you want to learn more about uh, CEF architecture and. Uh, some uh, applications that are using it and a link to the project. So uh, CEF, um, it's an open source project that follows pretty regularly the Chromium release lifecycle. They are usually uh, a week behind Chromium releases and Chromium releases happen very often. They happen bi-weekly and CF is basically a collection of scripts and patches that uh, are applied on top of Chromium. It adds itself to Chromium uh, tree actually and it creates a few new build targets uh, to generate the libcf and the sandbox exec executable and uh, the libcf is uh, a stable API that can be used for basically uh, the same uh, that was uh, done by Chromium WebOS before. Um, CF is has its own backend, backends. Uh, they, they call it runtimes. There's the Alloy runtime that's a runtime based on Chromium contents layer and this is a layer that uh, has an API for anyone that wants to implement a browser but doesn't contain the very opinionated implementations that Chromium uses. So it's a generic way of providing an, an API for making a browser. And um, there's also the Chrome runtime and the Chrome runtime is based on the Chrome layer that contains all the, the Google implementations for accessing uh, Google services, uh, for example, um, Google Drive integration and uh, autocompletion. All, all that is Chromium specific is under this, uh, this layer. And CEF provides this runtime by patching uh, the Chrome layer heavily to, to make it um, a public API. That's not the case for the regular implementation. Um, so um, I just wanted to show how we use uh, CEF on, on current one implementation. All those classes are based on, on the CEF representations of the browser and the renderer processes. Basically, uh, we run a browser process and then each time we, we run a, another application, it's going to create new processes for, for managing uh, that specific application. And 
code we leverage from the window when in browser view delegates from CF to create the web app and web pages uh, representations used on, on one. So um, for this year, our goal was to make, make it possible to switch to, to CF. Uh, we created uh, the CF Recipe earlier in, in June and we added a CF feature that we, we could use to tell the build system that we are going to use the, the CF backend for one, but uh, it, it was still possible to use Chromium WebOS as well if you didn't use this, uh, this feature. Now we, we are in the phase of uh, hardening, doing some hardening and, and bug fixing. Uh, one of the things that we improved was to start using uh, official uh, Chromium release turbos. The older recipe was based on, on the Chromium repository and it, it took a look, long time to clone uh, and get all the dependencies and the release tarballs already contain all the code needed to, to build Chromium. So this decreased the, the download and build time a lot. Um, and now we made CF to the default backend for one. And now um, We'll keep working on, on bug fixing and also we need to bring the optimizations that are available on Chromium WebOS to, to CEF and to improve the development workflow for web applications to provide forms of uh, inspection in, in, in real time and decide a new, a new form of bundling that was uh, available uh, prior to the uh, application framework deprecation and now the only way of uh, including a new web application is to create a new a new recipe added to the tree and uh, bake a new image so um, this was was better before when we, we could basically just send a new bundled uh, application to the to a running instance install it and run and we need to bring this back uh, possibly by working with pwas uh, we are working on a whole ui revamp because we we did a lot of work on on the base of of the of the system uh, but we didn't work a lot on, on the UI and the, the work on creating the new recipes took a long time but it's not perceivable if you run the, the image it uh, it's the same as the old implementation and um, working for some time with the new recipe uh, I started to notice a few uh, pros and cons on using this new implementation. So, uh, like I mentioned, we, we have faster fetch and, and build steps. It's easier to maintain uh, because one thing that um, was a problem for us using Chromium WebOS was uh, the time that it took to get a new milestone release from from the project sometimes Chromium was jumping two milestones and the delta between uh, between the, those versions uh, was big and we need needed to use a lot of time for adapting our changes to work with the new new version and now um, since the the releases happened very often we are always um, porting our, our patches and the delta is smaller and it takes uh, less time to do the maintenance and one thing that uh, it's good and also brings some problems is to use uh, newer 
versions of, of Chromium uh, because of the CF updates. It's, um, it's good because we can get new features faster and we also are getting all the security fixes that are released every, every two weeks. And, but also we get a few problems because um, sometimes the, we, get, we get bugs that uh, only happen on our platform or similar platforms but not on the usual uh, Chromium targets and it takes uh, adds some work to, to the maintenance to, to have to fix them. And uh, what's def definitely an issue is the compiler issues that we get uh, because of the difference in versions of Clunk used by Chromium and the Clunk used by, by the project. And we get most of the issues from the C20 features that are used and not supported on older compilers. So we, we, we need to fix each case separately and it also adds to some time and if we could uh, update the compiler um, version on the platform more often this would be less of an issue and yep basically uh, that's it and I don't know if we have any any questions about this. Uh, all right, so he, he's interested in CF and he wants some some way of notifying. Uh, you you want to notify a notif notification between applications or? Well, actually, I think it's not directly related what you've been presented. It's more like about. CEF, CEF. Mm -hmm. um, what yeah. is because uh, our colleague told us that they are stopping to use the open API for the web application notification. Web notification, like uh, currently it is using, it is used to pop up the notification, mm -hmm. but it's rumored they are not going to use it ever again, kind of that kind of system. It's like API or if you know anything and yeah, if you could share, we will be appreciate. Yeah, sorry, I'm not aware about that. Uh, I, I was thinking that you uh, were talking about notifications between different applications, like uh, some form of IPC, uh, something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, CF provides um, its own API for, for IPC. We are actually using this as well. And it's a very simple API. It's based on, on JSON. Uh, so you, you create uh, all the fields and send information you want. Um, I think I don't have the code of CF here to show you, but you, you can check on, on the main page on Bitbucket and they have uh, samples for uh, IPC and usage of, of JavaScript and oh, so some other cases, yeah. It, they are not planning to change the system of that, you know, that... Uh, we're not, not aware about okay. this, this change, but right. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I think that's it then, so thank you.